In this lesson, we'll see how to deal with uh, radio buttons in our form and check boxes. As you can see, I've defined two new fields. One is special event, where we simply flag that will indicate if the event we are adding is special or not. And in case it's a special event, there will be a special event type that can be either age restricted, luxury, or both of them. So let's go back to our code and let's see how to deal first of all with the radio button. What we need to do is just as usual to define a MG model. But in our case, the ng model will be the same identical one for both fields because it doesn't matter which value the user will pick, we want to store it in the same model. So we'll call it uh, event form dot special event. Okay. And we'll do the same thing down below. We can now go back to our uh, event page, open ng inspector, so we can monitor what's the model value that we're going, we are going to set. And let's try to select the yes option, for example. One thing you might have noticed that there is no default value, we'll see how to set that up in a minute. But anyway, let's analyze the event form, and as we were expecting, the value has been set true, and if I select the no option, it changes to false. That's easy, right? One thing I would like you to notice is that our event form at the minute is not included within our event controller. The reason why I did that is because I wanted to keep it separated from the controller just to get to this point. What we have to do now is to set up a default value inside our controller so that the radio button will be set up to whatever our default value is. So what I mean by that is that we'll go simply in our controller and we'll create something like this dot special event special event equals for example true. So doing that we should actually set up our initial value to true. But what will happen is that this event form dot special event has nothing to do with the special event inside the controller. And it wouldn't even be the same thing if I type something like event form dot special event because it's in its own scope variable which is currently outside our controller and our controller cannot access the scope because we are not injecting that, right? So the best thing to do would be to move the entire form inside our controller and we are actually going to do that in the next lesson but let's focus just on setting up the default value for the radio button and we'll do that by simply removing the radio button from the form itself and we move it inside the controller so it'll be just like event.ctl.specialEvent and event.ctl.specialEvent so this is actually the one we're referencing now this will go back to this.specialEvent and we'll save it so now our value is set to true let's go back to our event form and let's refresh it and as you can see the default value is now yes so let's change it back to false which corresponds to our no let's refresh the page once again and this time the value is no so I will modify this code for you guys for the next lesson because it, from now on we'll keep everything inside the event controller the only reason why we kept it away was because I wanted to show you what happens when the scope cannot be accessed from the controller. One last thing before we move into the second part of this lesson and we'll talk about checkboxes is that you can also set uh, values that are not are coded and to do so you can use a property named ng-value. And this time this will be an expression so we can use an actual controller uh, property to set up whatever is the value we want to uh, store in our model. So let's call it special value. And just below the value that we have set previously we'll type this dot special value equals and this time will be an object with id one just for the sake of it and the value will be something special okay special maybe I'll save and as usual I refresh my application now open the ng inspector 
let's select the yes option and as you can see the object is contained within the option we have selected so if we change it back to be to be no it will go back to false that's it so if you want to use values that are driven by your controllers you can do it through the ng value option i'll see you in a minute to talk about checkboxes this time